Welcome to Lunch Therapy. It's hump day. Happy, happy hump day. Uh, we've had, got a really fun show planned for you today. Um, I can't even, I'm beside myself. It's so much, going to be so much fun. Um, <laughs> going to help you get over the hump. Wednesdays are one of my favorite lunch therapy days. Well, I mean, except for Mondays and, uh, well, interview Fridays. Those are good too. So um, this week on Interview Friday, by the way, we are very fortunate to have David McWhorter. He um, is a prolific television director. He's directed multiple episodes of The Closer, Quantico, The Flash, 
and many others. So get ready for that on Friday. Uh, but today we have another great director as well as an actor and a comedian. He is the host of Qu the Quarantine Comedy Show and also the host of Cure Seekers. Um, he's done every commercial that you can think of um, at home in his room. He recreates them just for fun and practice. And um, uh, he's played many comedy venues here in Los Angeles, uh, Flappers and the Sycamore Tavern and the Comedy Store and you know, you name it, he's all over town. Um, so let's get into this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Wednesday. I don't even think we can say, we can say holy, but I don't think we can say Wednesday. That doesn't quite, doesn't work like Moin Day does. Um, I'm redefining the meaning of favorite. <laughs> yeah, favorite is like, everything's my favorite. I have a lot of favorite things, okay? I have a lot of favorite things. Hello there, Chuck Goldsmith. It's great to see you. Hey, Guy Fly, how's your eye? Okay, so it's breathing time. Um, if you've never been to lunch therapy, you, you don't know that it is um, breathing time at the top of the show. So we do three deep breaths um, because some of you, you don't even breathe the rest, rest of the day, I think. So I know I sometimes, I'm like, did I, have I breathed for the last hour? I don't know. Um, so in through the nose, out through the toes. Hold it. By the way, that uh, phrase, our catchphrase, in through the nose, out through the toes. <sighs> I'm going to credit that to uh, Vernus Clear. It's wicked cool around here, Chuck. Yeah, it is. Hoimp day. <laughs> Hoy, it's hoimp day. Yeah, so in through the nose, out through the toes, I think I maybe have gotten from Vernus. It's very, you know, it's a melting pot of a show. Um, lots of different influences. I'm looking alert, yeah. You know, I don't know what's gonna happen. I got Tom Kearney on the show. You never know. In through the nose, out through the toes. Hold it. And last, you know, Monday, when we had Sam Quasman on, we had crazy internet problems. So that, you know, I've always got that to worry about. That's why I'm breathing, let it go. You know, but during this time, I wanna point out, I wanna shout out, call out, <clears throat> send my praise to um, George Hood. George Hood was on the show many moons ago, but he's very, uh, he's a good, good friend of mine. Um, he's my favorite planker, perhaps. Um, he's the world champion planker. He has, holds the record for the longest plank. Um, and he was, last weekend, he was going for the record number of push-ups in an hour. And you know what? He didn't make it. And that's a lesson for all of us. And that lesson is, if you fail, it's just one more step towards succeeding. And that's his attitude, I know it is. I talked to him over the text, I was like, congratulations, you're that much closer to getting the world record. And you know, knowing him, he'll probably crush it at some point. But it takes, you know, you gotta, you gotta make a lot of pancakes, right? You gotta make a lot of pancakes. Mountainous range, the mountainous range is nice today. Hey, Mark Strignell is here. Happy Wednesday. I don't know if Mark even knows, but last Monday we played one of his new songs, new cover songs. And uh, yeah, that was really fun. He'll have to check it out if he hasn't seen it. Um, here we go. I've got, you know, today I've got a little bit of a um, um, commercial here because, you know, we're trying, we're trying to make money. So I got a commercial um, and then it's going to go right into our live guest. Tom Kearney. Um, a lot of you know and love Tom, and um, you, you want to see him on the show, and you know what? You're going to get your wish today. You're going to get your wish. So in through the nose, out through the toes. Let it go. 
This is from our um, one of our regulars, uh, Mr. Joe Fury, and this is his product, Crepe Erase. Ladies and gentlemen, Crepe Erase. Canal. For when you're feeling kind of bony. Hey, what do you mean by that? What are you trying to say about my skin? Nothing wrong with bony. It's just... Uh, what are you trying to say about my skin? You just look old. You look old. I'm oh. sorry. I mean, I, I, there, I said it. You oh. know, in Hollywood, you can't be old. So if you're looking old, you have to get yourself something like this. What is it? Crepe erase. What do you do with it? You just put a little on your face. What happens? Here, I'll, I'll give you a little. What, what, what's going to happen? Um, what happens is your face disappears. Disappears? Yes. Well, I don't want to disappear. Okay, fine. You've already disappeared. Quite I'm enough. already hot enough to stick around. Yes, you're Jeez. right. Jeez. Just let me put a little bit on your what are you upper, gonna get upper mandible. What? Let me put a what little up you on, your, on your mandible. Oh, my God. Just Let stop, me. stop moving so much. Me. Stop Let moving so much. Me. There, it looks so much better. What? Oh my God. This is going to happen to me in 20 years anyway. What are you doing? Oh, shit. All right, thank you, Boney. Ladies and gentlemen, lunch therapy. Hey, it's Tom Kearney from the Quarantine Comedy Show. Great to see you, Tom. Hey, guys. It's great to be, good to see you. Good to be seen. Good to be here. Tom, I've, I've been seeing all that content you've been making. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, right? Yeah, crazy good, right? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crazy good. And, and your wife, Maura, has that great cooking show. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, uh, the, the happy spatula. Last night she made a baked Alaska. Yeah, thawed out the polar ice caps. <laughs> Wait a minute, is, is that good? <laughs> no, no, not really. Not, not if you're a polar bear or you like beaches or, or, uh, or breathing. Wow. <laughs> I actually like all of those things, Tom. Yeah, well. Don't, don't worry about it. It's, uh, uh, everything's going to be okay, all right? Uh, we're, we're interstellar beings, man. Okay? Interstellar beings. Is that some kind of new agey thing? Like, like we're all connected? No. No, 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 Joel. It's not, okay? It's real, dude. You know, I saw that movie, Interstellar, with Matthew McConaughey. Made absolutely <gasps> no sense. I love uh, that. No way, man. Not for me. <laughs> It's the best movie. Yeah, okay, well, you're not going to have a choice, me mango. Please don't call me that. Yeah, okay. With the advances that I'm making, all right, I just want you to know that that, that you, your show, Doing Lunch Therapy, is going to be on Mars, me mango. The advances uh, you're making? What do you mean? And why do you keep calling me me mango? Please, stop. I I moved I moved into rocket science, you know, uh, kind of shooting for the stars, Marshall. You know. Uh, oh, is that why I keep seeing you jumping off your roof and and into your pool? No, 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 no. That that that's a completely other thing. Lately, I've been very into very powerful rockets, and 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 and, and you're just shooting them into space, man. And then boom, just land right on the Earth. It it, it. Bonnie, can can you roll that clip? Roll the clip. Oh, sorry, sorry. There it is. Okay, there it is. Whoa! What? <laughs> that was a tragedy, Tom. Oh, is he okay? Camera's up. <laughs> oh, my God. Did anyone die? How are you paying for all of this, Tom? Oh, well, from the sales of my electric cars. Yeah, and uh, home batteries and the uh, neural nets and whatnot. Tom, mm -hmm. that sounds a lot like what Elon Musk is doing. Not you at all. Elon, uh, uh, Elon, I, I Elon. No, I, Elon no. Musk. You know, I'm sorry, uh, boy, Joel. Uh, I don't know if I told you this, but my sense of smell 
uh, just took a dive bomb uh, when I got the six months of quarantine. Yeah, I can't smell a dang thing. Uh, musk or eons or... or whoa, whoa, or whoa, whoa, whoa there, me mango. I know you know who Elon Musk is. No, I'm... Sorry. I, I, oh, hold on. Yeah. Go ahead. X Ash eleven twelve. Bony. Bony, I think old Kearney's lost it. Come back Seems in. Seems like he caught Come Elon Musk complex or Come something. Come back in. <gasps> oh X-Ash, no! Don't get too close, Joel. Whatever you do, X-Ash, don't try to stop an out. I heard that is very, very dangerous. Copy we that. will need to get a professional. Copy that. Oh my god. No, no. no any- Honey badges? Joel? No, Boney, I am pretty good at this unlicensed YouTube therapy that I've been doing for over a year now. So I got this. No, 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 don't mess with the musk, Marshall. Just just Copy let that. Tom go for now. Roger, Roger. Copy that. X Ash eleven twelve. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, so it's coming. Um well guys. You look for that. I gotta go. Where are you going? Yeah, I, I, I got to go. Uh, I had this Mars Scout, you know, and uh, this thing I got to do. So. Mars? No, humans are not going to Mars for a while, Tom. Like, like two decades at least. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. No. Uh, Marshall, I found a shortcut. All right? What are you Look. talking about? I got to go. <gasps> I'm now. Uh, oh my god. <gasps> oh, Joel. Yeah, Bo? Yeah. Was was that just back in silence? I don't know what I don't know what that was. Anyway, let's let's just get on with the show, Boney. Uh, uh roll the next bumper. This is lunch therapy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is a good bumper. <laughs> I love the bumpers. Reminds me of a bun, a thick hamburger bun. <laughs> All right, everybody. I, you know, I don't know what we're gonna do without Tom. I mean, what? Hey, Tom. You're back. Oh, can't hear you. Um, let me see if I can uh, bring I, you I, in. I, oh. You went out for a second. I don't yeah. know what happened there. Uh, are you, you hear me? Are you okay? What do you mean? Well, I mean, there was a whole, I don't know what it was. It was like an alien abduction or something, or you were like flying uh, through the air. I don't, I don't really remember uh, much since Tuesday, but, but, uh, I do have some uncomfortableness, a little sore soreness w- when I sit. I don't know what's uh, what, what that's about. That is so weird. Uh, you know, um, have you been maybe you know yeah. taking taking Ambien or something like that? Have you been noticing like the yeah, gas? I wish. I wish I got no. I got to get on. I got to get on that stuff. Wow, man. I, I could use a little Ambien right about that now. Does some, some scary stuff. Um, what have you been doing? What have you been up to lately? Uh, do you have well, any uh, recollection no. at all of anything? I I don't remember much, <laughs> I, 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 but uh, it, it, I haven't remembered much of anything in the last year anyway. It's uh, all just been one big blur, Joel. It kind of seems day like just kind of yeah. Well, it just leads to the next. You know, it's like every day is freaking Saturday. I don't know how to put it. Otherwise, yeah. I don't even know really what day of the week it is tell you the truth it's totally I, I guess all you, you mentioned together. it's hump day so yeah i don't know what hump <laughs> oh no <laughs> but, don't uh, don't tell me we're gonna do that <laughs> again we you just froze for a second yeah. i was worried oh, that no, like I aliens mean, were coming day, you know yeah hump if day. i tell my wife it's hump day you know i'm sure that i'm gonna have to build some kind of a deck or do some chores right right you know i'm gonna so, i'm gonna move on to a little something here i want to show you a few things because uh, I want us okay. to get into a relaxed atmosphere because that was really, you know, really kind of stressful for me, um, what just happened. And I don't even think you know. 
I don't even think you know. Um, so here's a uh, I think live. You take a page out of your own book. Did you do the breathing? Did you I did. I did the breathing, but it doesn't seem to have okay. helped. Okay. Sometimes when I get really no. stressed out, okay. I watch. Uh, I watch birds. Do you ever do that? Watch birds. Yes. Yes. I have a bird's nest in my garage right now. They're coming in and out. And I'm trying not to disturb them. Oh uh, really? But it's it is. This it's, is a, it is relaxed. This is a channel um, on YouTube where all you do is you just watch birds in a bird feeder. It's called Bird Watching Headquarters HQ. Tom. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you see? That oh, you nice. can't see what I'm showing you because yeah. it's over your shoulder. I get it. I get it. That's interesting. Oh, I can see it. You're yeah, so yeah. They're like no, high tech, great. man. You're high tech because you got like a camera well, someplace you, else. I'm trying to keep up. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up with you. What Marshall? are the programs that you've been doing? Um, you've been doing uh, quarantine comedy. Well, we started the quarantine comedy show, um, and it's still going. It's kind of taken another direction. We're we're going to be doing more sketch comedy. Yeah. Uh, you know, ever since we got a new president, um, I, I lost a lot of the comedy. I, I miss Trump is what you I'm know, trying to he say. He told you. It's he a, told you it was going to happen. He told just, you that you'd <laughs> miss him. And he was right. I did. I miss him dearly. It's the, the comedy. I miss the comedy is what it is. Maybe you um, should get on his uh, and, his program. And, He'll be having some pro. Maybe you can get no, on his. But, he's, his, but his he still gives me little tidbits. Social networking. There. He, yeah. he came out. Yeah, yeah, he came out saying that there was no the insurrection was nothing but a love fest. You know that basically they were they were just hugging and kissing. So oh, I thought that that, that was oh, great. Um, yeah, there, there there's a whole thing. Uh, so we started another show. It's kind of a catalyst from this COVID stuff called Cure Seekers. We've been working on that. Cure Seekers. And uh, I'm doing yeah. So that's really interesting. We're actually ex diving into. Uh, psychedelics and um how that is i knew it i knew it tom jay patterson is here yeah, she's a comedian howdy um, um <laughs> all right good we got a lot to talk about yeah you oh, know the, my, the, wait the a minute episode. wait a minute go yeah. back go back you said yeah. that you've been diving into psychedelics yeah. i'm diving full in full wow. full on psychedelics uh th there's a lot to this so we've actually been working with a group in British Columbia that uses iboga uh, to, to treat some of this stuff. And so it should be an interesting episode. We're also doing an episode right now on bees and using bees to treat things like MS and Lyme disease. Bees? Uh, using bees to sting you. Yes, they sting you in your, uh, uh, your, your meridians, like the acupuncture points. Wow, and uh, it's been having some great success. So we're, we're. Oh, well, I don't know what happened. Drum roll, all kinds of weird stuff's happening. Boney. Sorry. Boney just like did some Boney, weird transition thing. <laughs> God, <laughs> Boney's really like messing it up today. So bees. Okay. Bees. So Boney bee stings, like the poison in bees is, what is it? What is it yes, that helps you? Yeah. So it's the venom. The venom. Yeah. I, they don't really quite understand what it is. The, the, the FDA right now, there's some trials going on where they're isolating certain things and they're they're fading it in a lab and they're taking parts of the bee stuff uh, and they're injecting um, uh, patients. One gets a placebo, the other one gets the bee venom and, and they're, they're seeing some some big reactions that not just not just uh, allergic reactions, but uh, they are finding that they're having big success in this stuff. But there's something missing that that they don't understand that actually comes from the bee itself. They mm. they they this has been going on for thousands of years, by the way. Mm. And there, a lot of this stuff uh, from psilocybins to to bee venom. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. As we progressed with with medical. Uh, advancements, we've lost some of the stuff that we already knew. So it's kind of interesting that, that, that we're now taking a look, you know, trying to move forward, kind of yeah. looking in the rearview mirror about where we've been, you know, so it's kind of cool. Wow. That's cool. Um, it, it's, it's kind of yeah. trippy though. You uh, know? Also. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is a trip. Uh, oh, you talked about what else Literally. we're doing. Uh, my wife has a cooking show that we're doing together called Happy Spatula. And so that's a, a, another show that, that we're doing. So I don't know how many shows we have going right now, but it's pretty busy. We, ha we have another kid show. Do you have a kid show? That we're, we're shopping. To Net yeah, it's, we're shopping it to Netflix called Ghost Scene Investigators. 
some jobs need the courage of a kid. So that's another another show that that um, that I'm pretty excited about. Okay, well, speaking of television shows, I got a contest for everybody. It's contest. Um, okay. You're gonna have to look at the screen. I don't know how you're gonna do this, but you'll have to look over okay. your shoulder, and I'll show you. No, I can do this. Yeah. I'll show you yes. a TV uh, set, and you, you tell me what okay. show it's from. You see, you're you're pretty well versed in television okay, shows, I can right? Do this. I mean, you've yes, done your I think so. your research. Um, let's see how you do. I was uh, raised by the Brady Bunch. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. So here we go. Famous sitcom okay. sets. Sets. Um, this is a lunch therapy game, and the winner. You know, if you could guess okay. all of them, you get a lunch therapy T-shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Let's do this. All right. This is the first one. And if people that in the chat right room there? can guess as well, oh, of course. If you can beat Tom to the punch. Seinfeld. Seinfeld? Seinfeld. All right, let's see what it is. Yes. Seinfeld. Wow. Pretty impressive, Tom. That was the first one, too. Uh, but there are more. All right, let's do this. How about that okay. one? Okay. TV is something I know. Yeah, I figure. Oh, this is, uh, it, it, it's Frasier. Uh, try again. Mora. Mora, Mora is Mora. on. She said Seinfeld in the first one, too, so she's got Seinfeld. Jay's got Seinfeld. Can anybody beat the, the Tom to the Frasier. punch? Frasier? Nope. Uh, can anybody do it? Uh, friends? Nope. This is kind of a different, maybe, angle on the set. Um, I'm going to give you a, a hint. Um, it's a very um, geeky show. A lot, of, a lot of geeky guys on it. I don't know if geek is the word. Nerdy guys? A lot of nerdy guys? Tom froze, of course. So we. <laughs> so let's see. He'll be back. Let's see if anybody can guess it. Thank you, Jose. Big Bang Theory. Todd Lee, Big Bang. All right, now we're talking. Um, all right, Tom is coming back. I don't know. There he is. All right. So that was the Big Bang Theory. Sorry, guys. That was the Big oh, Bang Big Theory. Oh, that's Big Bang. Yep. Okay, I, 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 I missed a lot of those episodes. Um, Jay is guessing yes. Archie Bunker. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, that? I thought that was Frasier. But this is wrong. the next one. Oh, that's Archie Bunker. It's weird that's because Archie Jay Bunker. guessed it before it came on the screen, which is making me wonder about her <laughs> uh, experiences with her uh, microdosing. I think maybe it's having giving her some superpowers. Um, Vernon Scott, Big Jeez. Bang Theory. Channeling. Um, so yeah, this is the Archie Bunker show. For those of you that don't know, one of the greatest shows ever in television. Ever. Um, the chair on it the right is. was where yes. Archie sat. Archie. Um, the chair yes. on the left is where. What the, is her name? The Anybody subservient. Know? The subservient. Uh, Archie Bunker. What? Uh, yeah, Edith. Edith. That was Edith's chair. Great show. Edith, get over here. <laughs> I think that was sounded like Norton. Norton. Yeah, Norton. The honeymooners. Flashbacks. flashbacks. Yeah, we're having. I think yeah, Jay yeah, has yeah, 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 Jay yeah, 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 flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you have uh, deja vu. Well, Jay had it in reverse. She 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 yeah, saw the chairs and then she saw the chairs. All right, what about this one? You mentioned this earlier. That is Brady Bunch. Yes, the Brady Bunch. Now this is actually, I think, a shot from the Home Shopping Network or a home and garden. They did a thing where they took the old Brady Bunch house and they got the cast of the Brady Bunch who are now, you know, much older now. And they had them make the interior look like the set of the Brady Bunch because the interior didn't look anything like it. Oh, God. I know. What were they selling? Like uh, Tupperware or something? What? Um, they were, they were not sell. Oh, they weren't selling anything. They were actually, yeah, I probably got the channel wrong. They were actually, um, it was like a home improvement thing. They were like, can we make this oh. house look like it? And they put them to work. Little known fact, Edith's maiden name is, oh no, oh no, Edith, my, oh no, I'm not even saying, see, I That's almost fell, true. I almost fell right that in. That can't be true. I almost fell right into that. Edith, Edith. get me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. How about this one? All of your, uh, all of your impressions sound Smitty. like the Honeymooners. What? <laughs> I always go back there. That's Spin City, yes? I don't know. Spin City, that's a good good guess. It's a good guess, but it's not right. And I know that you are, you know, I think maybe you wanted to do your impression. Uh, go ahead and do it. Your Family Ties impression. Oh, he's frozen again. Anybody uh, in the chat room? <laughs> you're Michael J. Fox. I, I want to hear your Michael J. Fox before this thing is over. Um, oh. 
Let's see. This is anybody? Anybody? Are you telling me, sir? <laughs> are you uh, telling Mallory? Are you, you telling me? It's a good guess. Is this sucker is nuclear? This would be the uh, West Wing. This would be the West Wing. House if, of Cards. It would be the West Wing or House of Cards if they didn't have enough money for a good set. <laughs> but instead, yeah, yeah. it's Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. It's Park and Rec. Okay. There was I don't a. Know what's going on by, behind there? There's there was a, a uh, tip off it's, because it's Leslie Knope was her little name tag is there, but you have to have really good eyesight for that. Oh. Especially yes. if you're watching on a and phone. Good and good internet. Yeah, good it's internet. Very blurred. <laughs> okay, now uh, here's the next one. Yeah. Anybody know this one? Okay. What do you got? Roll up your oh, sleeves. Oh, this is that '70s show. Oh my God, you got it! Wow, you can tell by all the the smoke in the air. Maybe that '70s yeah, so show. Yeah, all the all the, the remnants. There, there, nice. there, you can see the bomb. You can see the oh, bomb. This is uh, always always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, now you're killing it! You're killing oh. it. Always sunny in Philadelphia, yes. Now you're in my wheelhouse. If anybody can beat Tom to you're the right. punch on the next one. Oh, this this one's kind of easy. What do you easy. got? It's kind of easy. Oh, office. Office space. The office. The office. <laughs> office space. Do you think the office, office space, space? Do you think office space I don't know. was the a office? Kind of, do you think that was like a precursor to uh, the office? Office space? Everything. Everything came from office space that was the beginning of all comedy i love that movie so much you know i i, I auditioned too. for that movie yeah uh -huh. what yeah oh You're i did serious? for the lead what you, what, for what role what for the lead guy really yeah obviously yeah, i did not I, get would have been great i would have been great yeah, well, i was you, you know I, the, the casting they been don't fun. know you know no the casting is just a it's a flip of a coin well it's, so it is it, it's it just been a, it's a numbers game it's a numbers game uh, I'm sure my office space will be coming soon. Okay, there's the office. What a what a Ooh. great film. This yeah. is gonna be a tough one. This is a tough one. I knew you know you'd be good at this game, and so I threw this real tough one in here. Uh, Jay Patterson says you are good. He's good, and uh, let's see Net how good Mary he is. Mary Tyler Moore. You know Mary you're Tyler so Moore. darn close that I'm gonna give you another guess. I know. It's, you're it's so a close. You are so close. Rhoda. Um, I'm gonna give you a hint. Mary Tyler Moore is in this show. So this is, um, Dick Van Dyke Show. Oh my God, you got it. I was going to give you a little visual thing where I was going to trip over I don't the need demand. it. I don't need it. You don't need it. Bob Newhart. I don't need it. We saw well, on no, Monday we had, we had, we had. I a, love that show. On Monday we had Sam Quasman on the show. Oh, D Jay got it too. They've got a delay. So they're, uh, you know, they've got a disadvantage. Um, on Monday, we had a guy on the show, Sam Kosman, who was on the uh, Bob Newhart show, and he had a little ventriloquist dummy, and it was hilarious. We showed that clip last time. Oh. Um, okay, moving on. You're going to have to dig that one up. Oh, you're going to yeah. have to watch what it. You, you got another one? It. Yeah, I got another one. Okay, what do you got? This what one should be this? easy now. What this is? one should be easy. If you don't Oh, know, WKRP in Cincinnati. That's a good guess. It's a good guess. Um, WKRP in Cincinnati. Can you name a character from uh, News WK Radio. Oh, news, news Radio. It's mm, nice thinking, but can you name a character from WKRP in Cincinnati? While we're waiting for your brain to uh, function. Murphy Brown. Um, Murphy Brown, it's a good guess, but it's not Murphy Brown. Okay. Um, you know, that the movie that that... The movie that was made from was a movie called FM. That that was patterned after the TV yeah, show. Was that was a good that. one. You, you know, Jay Patterson FM? got this one. Yeah, she got this one, and I'm going to tell you, Mary Tyler Moore. What is Moore. this? It's Mary Tyler what Moore. Is it? That's the set. Oh, Mary Tyler Moore. Okay, that's the set. Okay, yes. Um, Loretta says, "Had you starred in Office Space, we would have had the pleasure of your company. Oh, we wouldn't have had the pleasure. We would not have had the pleasure." of your company here on Lunch Therapy, which would be a tragic loss to us. Exactly. Thank you so much, Loretta. Yes, we are all- I don't know if- the, I don't, It might not be true. I, I mean, don't maybe think, there would be I Lunch Therapy. That's not true at all. That's the, you know? If you could have been Luke Skywalker in Star Wars and you would still be doing this. I would still be doing this, that's for sure. Because this is, this is some of the yes. most fun I've ever had in my entire life, I'll tell you that much. Um, and I'm not even joking. There's nothing for me here now. I want to come with you. Become Luke. a stormtrooper, like Luke, my father. father. You know, did Luke did 
Luke. I, I, you're an expert on on Star Wars. Um, Trust your feelings, Luke. In the Empire Strikes Back, did uh, Darth huh? Vader ever say? Did Darth Vader ever say, "Luke, I'm your father"? Yes. Yeah, trust your feelings, Luke. Uh, you don't think I I know what's going on here? Do you see the poster wow. behind my desk? I see the little my... action figures. That's pretty cool. Oh, you do. You Jay the, Patterson the says Lonnie Anderson, and that is that is pretty close, but not a character from WKRP. You gotta have a character. You know. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna tell oh. you something that's gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna blow your mind right now, Tom. Get ready. Okay. Yes. I'm ready. Darth Vader never said, Luke, I'm your father. Tell me. He never said it. Trust your feelings. I am your father. Is that well, it? Maybe that's what he Was said. That it? Maybe. Luke. Maybe. I don't know. Do you yeah. think, do you maybe. know that? Somatics. Somatics, Joel. Did you know that Humphrey Bogart never said, play it again, <laughs> Sam? Do you know that? Never said, play it again, Sam? I, th I think, I have heard that. Yeah. yeah. You played it for her, you can play it for me. There, there, there's Ralph again. There's Ralph. Damn it, Ralphie boy! It's always, it's always Ralphie boy. Norton, Norton, you played it for her. You played it for me. Yeah, you're not even old enough Play to it. have seen that show. So I, don't know, I don't know where you get that. Um, all right, so next one. What? Next I would one. like to see the honeymooner. Uh, Johnny Fever. Thank God, Mora, your wife came up with one. Johnny Fever is a is a, a character. Johnny Fever. Yes. Yeah. Played by Johnny Howard Fever, Howard Hessman. Go. Howard Hessman. Um, the one I was thinking Howard of. Howard Hessman, San Francisco. He's he was one of the he was one of the guys from the committee in San Francisco. Great guy. You oh. know, there was another character that whose name rhymes with Hessman on the show, WKRP in Cincinnati. Okay, is this Frazier? Oh, I'm you and Lauren got it at the again. same time, right at the same time. Frazier. Yes. I knew Frazier was going to come at some point. All yeah. right, Frazier it is. And Mora got it. Todd got it. Everybody got that one. That's uh, set in Seattle. You know, I miss T. I... That is, that is. But that, that set is, is in Burbank, the, probably. The skyscrapers in the back. Yeah. Yeah, right. You know, I miss TV. You know, ever since all this kind of happened, uh, uh, it's all just Netflix and Prime and all that kind of stuff. You miss all this stuff, you know? I guess it's, you can still there. watch it, but it's out there. I'm catching up. Yeah, it's out there. Catching up on my comedy, um, and actually, you know, sometimes uh, it makes it easier. Columbo and Rockford Files. All right, here's an here's an easy one. Yeah. Cheers. Nice. Cheers. You know, in England, in jolly old England, when you say cheers, it means thank you. So, what do you think cheers Mara is called? Brought me Mara. Cheers, they say up up yours, mate. Don't they? <laughs> do you think cheers in, in England is they called up yours, mate? Do you think it's called up up yours, mate, instead of cheers there? Because they'd be like, why is it? That, that's show an Australian propensity? thing. They go up yours, mate. And they <laughs> talk like cheers. this because they don't want the bugs to fly in their mouth. <laughs> Sven. Sven de Kock is here. He's from he's all so, the way from Belgium. And he says <laughs> cheers. He knows cheers. <laughs> so, what? Mara, Mara brought me to this bar in Boston. Mara, my wife, from Boston, of course. Yes. Uh, and she, got she brought right. me to this bar, and I was so excited to, to, to go down there, you know? Yeah. And I went down there. It's nothing like this. It's it nothing isn't. like this. The, the outside is exactly the same. So I just, uh, I just you know, stood out on the sidewalk and, and drank a beer, but uh, almost the, got arrested. But it was, not, it was not like that at all. Okay, I got a couple things to say to that. One thing is they should get the Cheers cast to go there and make the bar look like the Cheers bar, right? Like they did with the Brady Bunch cast. Absolutely. And the other thing yes. is they used to have a museum in Hollywood where this set was there, full, full on set. It was part of the museum. But the museum I don't think is there anymore, so I don't know where the set went. There you go. That would trivia. be cool. That would be a cool thing, man. Yeah, I remember when this cool. show came like out. They, uh, I was like, there's no way they can have a sitcom that's just set in a bar. There's no way they can do it. It'd be so boring. And I was wrong. It is. It's no. It, I bartended for 15 years, man. And I think that, that it, the, the, every shift was a sitcom. I swear to God. That sometimes really? I was like, that you can't write this shit down. It's, it was incredible. But the, have you been to the Star Wars bar at, at Disneyland? It's exactly no, I cannot wait. like it was in Star Wars. Do, 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 I know. Do, 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 I, 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 I got to go. Uh, my, my, my daughter. Who, my, I'm just the soundtrack. I'm the soundtrack. 
Oh no, I lost you again. Jay Patterson says the bar is now closed. It, Mora, yeah. is this true? Is the bar closed, the Cheers bar? Um, let's see. Let's... Oh, sorry, I cut you off because, I mean, I didn't cut you off. The Spectrum internet cut you off. All right, so now, where did Norm sit again? Norm, I think, sat at the corner and maybe um, right next to the mailman guy. What was his name? I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, Cheers. Cheers was one of my favorite shows. I used to, um, actually, I couldn't watch television because uh, when I was a kid, I had to go to bed super early. So I just had this radio that I just listened to Cheers on. And I'll tell you, it was still a good show. That's the sign of good writing, I think, is if you can just listen to it, um, it's good. And the sign of good filmmaking is can you watch the film with the sound off? Because it's such a visual medium. Mora yeah, doesn't know just, whether Cheers, the Cheers bar is closed now. Um, but I think, I don't know, Jay was pretty, pretty, um, Cliff Clavin, thank you. Um, Jay was pretty clear about the fact that it was closed, so I don't know. You know, it's so weird to tell what's closed mm. and what's not anymore, right? I, mm. I don't know whether Tom's frozen or if he's there. Are you there, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, can you, can you? Yeah, yes, I, I, I am here. Uh, I, I, you know, I think about those, those shows. Do you ever see Bar Rescue, that, those shows where they oh, come yeah, in? Oh, yeah, where they go they, in? They, they, yeah, that guy is invented. What do you think you're doing that here? That guy's crazy. Yeah, what, what <laughs> he sounds like Norman, is, too. He yeah, like he is Thor. He goes, what do you think? You you think this is a cocktail over there? Do you really think that? Like, Would you drink a bar here? Look at these French fries. You call them French fries? I have seen that show. I have seen that show, and it's sort of like abuse. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it totally is. I should get it's him like to come show. in here to lunch there with me and be like, what are you doing here, dude? You're showing everybody sets from the TV shows. Come on. You got to step this game up. Uh, Lauren, you call this therapy? <laughs> That's right. There's no therapy in this thing. This ain't no therapy, Norton. Norton, uh, my friend. <laughs> so Lauren says the Falcon at Dizzy. Have you been to the, oh, is it, is the bar called? No, the bar is called the Falcon. There's the Millennium Falcon. You flew the a Millennium Falcon, didn't you, Tom? I did. Did you? We did yeah, a remake close. of Star Thank Wars. You, and the final, the final scene that we shot, we actually shot in the Millennium Falcon. I had to get uh, permission from George Lucas for this. But it was one of the highlights of my life. And uh, yeah, we did. It's called Studio Wars, where the film festival that I, I founded in Hermosa Beach was the rebel base. And the evil empire was the uh, studio system. It was kind of cool. Uh, little parody there. Yeah, it was neat. Oh, we've got some information here. Uh, the mailman's name was Cliff. That is cool, Tom. Sometimes I, I don't react in the, the way I'm feeling inside, like that is the coolest thing. I've seen that movie and I really like it. And you do a great uh, Luke Skywalker. Um, but then uh, at the same time, I'm looking at the chat room to try and figure out like what they're saying. And what we got here is the mailman is Cliff. Here's where Norm's stool. Oh, it's not in the picture. It's on the right. It's on the way to the restrooms in the pool room. That's where that's where Norm sat. And did Cliff sit oh, next no, to him? Oh, Norm's stool. Yeah. Yeah, right over here. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he had his own stool, right? Uh, right on the corner, right? Yeah, right I always was worried about these guys just sitting in the bar every night. It seemed kind of depressing. No, but it's 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 true though that that regulars in a bar in San Francisco, some of the were, they was just like this. Some of the places yeah. that I worked, and those guys owned those stools. They <laughs> nobody, everybody knew not to sit in that fucking stool. And if they did, they would yeah. say. The bartender would say, you got to get up, you know, uh, Scott's here now. So he, he, that's his spot. When I first and, came to uh, Hollywood. Because they, they oh. paid for it. They paid for it. They paid know? for it. Of course. It's totally theirs. They, yeah. It's squatters rights. Yeah. Um, yes. The other end in the corner, not the corner in the photo. Exactly. So, um, yeah. So when I first came to Hollywood, I knew a guy that um, knew Keanu Reeves and went into a restaurant and would sit in the corner with him. Maybe did that a few times. And it was at the um, Formosa Cafe. Remember the Formosa? I, was, I don't know if it's still yeah, there. Yeah, I, I do. It's still there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. after he went in there and sat with Keanu Reeves a few times, every time I would go in there with him and no Keanu Reeves, they would clear out the corner <laughs> table for us and we'd sit there. I think they were probably thinking <laughs> Keanu was going to show up. 
<laughs> so we would go there night after night. They always clear out the court. We'd be like, no, no, you don't have to do that. And they'll be like, no, just get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> they just kick the people out <laughs> and sit us there. It was like, it was bizarre. Bizarre. That's did, what you, did, did you like walk in on the, with the cell phone and go, yeah, Keanu. Yes, <laughs> right. we're going to have a regular table, Keanu. <laughs> yeah, yes. exactly. I, exactly. Oh, where that? <laughs> totally. Oh, God, Keanu. All right, here's one. Oh. That seems to be Tom Hanks in the middle. Oh, yeah, this is Bosom Buddies. You would think it's Bosom Buddies, but it's not. Look at the other people. Oh, this is uh, Family Ties. This is Family, family ties. ties. Okay, now that you're not cutting out in and out, I want to hear some Family Ties. I want to hear some uh, Michael J. Fox, some Back to the Future impersonations. And it better not sound like Norton. <laughs> you made a DeLorean. <laughs> no, no, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You made a time machine. There we go. Out of a DeLorean? <laughs> that was good. That was good. <laughs> Are you telling me that this sucker... Is nuclear? <laughs> Can you say something with with <laughs> with Mallory in it? Because I like it when Mallory when you say Mallory. Oh, well, uh, you know, I play a lot of basketball and I, I try to work out and stay in shape. I play a lot of basketball and, and uh, on the court that I play at, you got to bring your trash talk with you. And I, I really try. It just doesn't look or sound right coming out of me, though, Joel. Yeah. It's like <laughs> Michael J. Fox talking shit, you know? I'm like, damn it, Mallory. That was a foul. <laughs> Uh, that's good. He had a whole bit with that. I love it. I love it. Uh, I can give you a bit. What do you want? I'm like a trained monkey. This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> oh, I even got laughter going on here. Oh. Um, yeah, I can hear him laughing. Can you hear him? Oh, they're applauding. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's cool. Thank All right, you. moving along here. Thank this you. family Stop. ties. Stop. Yeah, they just Stop. keep going on. Okay, oh, this is the last one. On. This is the Stop. last one. Okay. Yeah, Jay liked it. Let's, Everybody. Let's that's Joel's apartment. That's your apartment. That's my apartment. Even, even though I don't have an apartment, that is my apartment. If I were to have one. <laughs> well, your, your wife doesn't know about it. But that's... <laughs> she doesn't know about my apartment. <laughs> don't tell her that. About my secret well, apartment. Uh, uh, this is actually Boney. a mo This is a pony. <laughs> this is actually a mobile home. <laughs> this is a mobile home. What? Yeah. Or I think it's kind it's of a, not a mobile home, but like a... The road. It's like a, maybe not a mobile home, but a, a track, tracked home. And let's see if okay. anybody in the uh, chat room can get this one because this is the final one. This is the big one. This is the uh, game winning oh. one. Um, has anybody in the chat room gotten every single one of them? I wonder because I'd like no. to know. Here we go. Your wife got it before you did and she's lag, lagging because she's in the chat room. Arrested Development. I, I couldn't I, I couldn't even begin to guess about this. It looks like something, uh, an Ikea showroom. I don't know. That's right. Well, you don't watch Arrested Development enough, I guess. No. What is it? Arrested Development. I love that show. I know. Totally got it wrong, but your yeah. wife got it right. Oh. Yeah, it's so sad that, that uh, I for I'm forgetting her name. She just passed away, the, the mother from that show. Uh, oh, she did? She, yeah, she was. Oh. I don't know what they're going to do now, but she was great. She was She was also in Ar the voice of uh, Archer. She was an Archer, too. Wow. I don't know if he's, you know, that one, but that, yeah, she just passed away. She it's time great. for me now to, to plug my yeah. podcast interview with Jeffrey Tambor that is on his podcast, Acting Schmacting. So if you go to Acting Schmacting Ooh. on iTunes, you know, the, fa yes. the dad Bluth, um, he interviews me on the show, on his show, his podcast. And it's called Acting Schmacting. Oh, cool. You should all go there, download it, listen to it. It's super fun. Um, we're moving along in the show now. Yep. Um, we're out of the, uh, that was great. Everybody did a great job on that. Um, I had actually made that for... Last week when we had Gunnar Rohrbacher on the show, we were going to do that quiz, but then Judd Nelson came on and it just became uh, really fun mayhem and we never got to it. Yeah, love Jeffrey Tambor. That's right. Yeah, listen to his podcast because it's really interesting. Acting schmackning. Um, Todd Lee says she was 80 and Arrested Development isn't being produced anymore. Yeah. But you never know, you know, because it came back once already. You never know with television. You never know. Tom, it's been great having you on the show. I think we're at the uh, end of the show now. 
And, uh, oh no, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can oh, get together as, as the dust settles on this stuff. Maybe yeah. we, we hopefully can get together and do some other stuff. Uh, like, like the last film we, we did that you were fantastic in, uh, oh, super but there's fun. more of that to come. So I can't brothers wait. Inc. And, uh, brothers Inc. baby. Um, yeah, uh, brothers Inc. Yeah. So we got some more stuff for shooting, but I just got my first shot. So, uh, we're going to get out back we'll, out there. We'll see where it goes. Everybody's saying Jessica Walters, yeah. Jessica Walter. That's the woman who played the mother in rest of yeah. the She was yeah. hilarious. Yeah. And a veteran. It's just wonderful actor. I love it. was so nuanced her performance. Um, thanks she was Jay, so for great. Being she was so cool and she yeah. always will be. Okay, now we're going to rock out. We're going to yeah. this is the dance okay. portion of the thing. You got to dance, man. You got to dance. And we're going to we got a Ooh, rocking me? hobbit song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We okay, got, yeah. We got a great um uh wait, first we're going to I'm going to get you sort of in the mood for it. We're going to do this weird thing where we hang out yes. behind the trees. Okay. Uh, but this isn't the dance part yet. I'm going to rock you I'm going to rock you out with some with some incredible performers here. Um, that they gave me permission. Whoa, what's that? Oh. I don't know. I'm kind of reaching over the. Uh, yeah, I like how you're doing there. that. I like that. Uh, I don't know. It's weird how we can see our there. show in the show, and you're behind trees, and there's a spaceship. There's so much going on that it seems like there should be more, right? There should be like, I don't know, a bat hanging. Um, there should be some more stuff happening because there's not enough going on. There should be a dancing <laughs> spaceman back there. Um, maybe an orca whale, um, perhaps. It's getting out of control. It's getting out of control. All right, so we're going to now move on to the dance portion. It is going to be, um, it's going to be another, another Led Zeppelin song cover. So let's get into this thing, okay. and I will try and be quiet, but you know, it's going to be so loud. It's going to be so loud. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> 